How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at PSVR 2 and its lack of games coming from first party publishers. Well, it's no surprise that the PSVR 2 was always going to be a gimmick, whether it's a flop or a letdown, time will tell. But, you know, Ryan McCarthy of IGN turned around and said that when he first got the PS, you know, the PSVR 2, he had high hopes. But the reality is all we're getting now are games that are already available on the Quest 2 or PCVR. There's none of the exclusive games. And the only exclusive games that are coming on are generally add-ons to pre-existing games. Now, like I've already played Resident Evil 8. I've got no real intention of replaying that, even if it is in VR. I just don't have, you know, I don't replay games. That That's just the way I am, right? But I've also got a Quest 2, and I've got a really powerful PC, and I play PC games. So a lot of the games that are on PSVR 2 are just rehashes of already, be, already available games. They do look nicer, but graphics doesn't mean everything, especially in a VR you know, environment. Just look at Synapse. It's a really good game. It's not graphically groundbreaking, but it's a really solid game that I'm going to be picking up and buying. And that's exclusive to Sony's platform, from what I understand. And I appreciate that, but it's not first party. The only game that they have that's exclusive from first party that's actually made ground up is Horizon Call of the Mountain. And now with Call of the Mountain, that, from what I've heard and read, was actually another game entirely. And they just rebranded it, redesigned it, reskinned it, and turned it into what it is today, a climbing simulator. That is, I mean, that is literally all that game is. You barely get to fight anything. It is just a climbing simulator which is really disappointing. The GT7 mod is great. Don't get me wrong. It's absolutely amazing. Like, it's so cool. You're blown away when you put that on and you actually use it. And I'm pretty sure Resident Evil 4 VR, which is what I'm waiting for because I'm not playing Resident Evil 4 Remake. And, you know, shameless uh, admission, I've never played Resident Evil 4. I, 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 I That's a lie. I've started it, but I never finished it. So... I'm waiting for the VR to be able to experience that game for the first time in VR. Now, but none of these games are PlayStation exclusive. And this is the point I was making on Twitter earlier, which I got an extremely big backslash. I mean, people on PlayStation uh, side of uh, the fan base were actually celebrating and showing off Crossfire. You know that crap Xbox One Series X game that came and died within like, what, two, three months? Yeah, they're begging up Crossfire on VR. Now, it could actually end up being the best game in the world. I'm not going to say that it's not. But based on past history, that game is not something that I'm very much looking forward to. But even then, it's not a first-party game. Where are the first-party games? I want first-party games. I bought this for that first-party Sony quality. Now, however you feel about Sony... I do genuinely feel that they do have a set high bar standard. Whether, and I actually enjoy those story-driven games, right? So I bought the PSVR 2 for 560 quid, and I feel that at this point, whether some people are going to get triggered by this or not, I, I feel that people who have paid that much money to adopt the VR headset are entitled to some first-party games. You don't spend 600 quid on a console and not expect first-party games. The Xbox, for their whole first year, did not have first-party games. And that was atrocious. That was abysmal. You know, let's make no mistake. That was a really, really bad move. They would have been better off delaying the whole console for a year than doing what they did. You can't release a console and not have first-party games. I don't count Boltons or that Horizon crap as acceptable. So when I turned around and said, I expect, you know, Sony to be demoing, showcasing games. I don't even care if they're coming out now. Just talk about something. Show me something. Don't make this another PSP or a PS Vita. Because that is where this is going. Like all the hype from Sony. Oh, we've got the PSVR 2 coming. It's not backwards compatible, but don't worry. We've got you covered. We've got so many games coming. Where are those first party games? I just want to see a trailer. I want to see some in-game footage. If it's coming in six months, I'm totally okay with that. I don't mind. But because of that opinion, 
where I just want to see some first party games, you know, Sony committing to the hardware that I paid almost 600 pounds for because I wanted Sony's commitment. I have been called all sorts of names by Sony fanboys. I have been ridiculed. I have been insulted. I have been harassed. I have been, uh, vulgarly insulted. And all because I put an opinion down saying that because I, you know, I spent 600 quid on this, I expect Sony to provide first party games. I didn't even say I expect them within the first six months. They can come in the first year. I don't see what I said wrong here. Why are Sony fans so crazy? Like the moment you say something bad about their platform, which is true. It's true. It's not like I'm making this shit up. It's actually true. They go crazy. And, and, and the best part is 90% of the people that actually reached out to me to start going in, in that fashion, 90% of those people don't even have a PSVR 2. They're just there as console warriors to just shit on other people that just want something good. I mean, what I'm asking for is to make that hardware better for gamers. Third party trash is third party trash. Re-releasing games that are already on there. Sure, it's great for those that never explored VR in the first place, but you don't go and spend 700, 600 quid on a VR headset if you've never experienced VR in your life. You would have experienced it. So the games that are coming out on the PS VR 2, there's a good chance that you've already played them. So where's the unique games for PlayStation? Oh, there's, there's that firewall coming out. That's going to be amazing. How do you know? How do you know? All we've seen is the CGI trailer. And I think we've seen maybe uh, quick footages here and there, but how do you know how it plays or how good it is? By, I mean, you're seeing doctored footage. I don't know. It's crazy to me. I find it in weird. And I genuinely uh, was shocked at the way I was being attacked on social media. I really was. Um, and it's, it's, it's crazy how people genuinely believe that that is acceptable behavior. I get console warring, but to out and out go on the offensive to try to bring down, insult, degrade, dehumanize, that's the Sony fan base. Not all of them. I'm, I'm going to say this outright. Not all of them. But the toxic ones out there, my God, are they bad. And all I'm trying to do here is get better games, first party games to come out for the platform that they seem to cherish but don't want to buy. You know, a bit like Baldur's Gate 3, how they're all lauding their game like it's the second coming of Jesus Christ. It's a very good game, by the way. 97% on Metacritic. Damn. But they're not going to buy it. And even if they do buy it, they're not going to share their PlayStation uh, history with you because uh, it'll show that they've played it for like three minutes and then decided that it's not for them. That's it. That's all I've got for this video. PSVR 2, I really hope it's a success. I invested a lot of money in it, but this will probably be the last expensive gimmick I pay for uh, from Sony if it fails as well. I mean, I actually find myself playing the PSVR 1 with Astro Bot Rescue Mission more than I do with the PSVR 2. At least Astro Bot Rescue Mission, uh, I get a lot of fun with my kids. You get the one wearing the VR is basically like the big bad guy, and then you can hook up four controllers and they're all just running around trying to take you down. It's insane fun. It's really good. But even that wasn't ported over. Because if that was ported over, that would keep me tied up. Or better yet, Sony, if you're watching this, just let me use my PSVR 2 on my PC. At least that will keep me tied up and happy until the, you start releasing AAA exclusive games or AAA games in general on the PlayStation platform for the VR um, console. That's it. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. And I'll see you in the next one. Remain legend.